What's up you guys, Jason here. Today I'm gonna give you a little overview of how I have my electrical system hooked up in my van. I'm not gonna go through and show you how to hook up these lights, you know, per se up in the ceiling. I'm gonna show you after you have hooked them up and they're ran through the wall, ready to be hooked to the fuse panel. And then you're probably wondering, you know, how do I hook my batteries up? Um, you know, where should I put fuses and circuit breakers and things like that? That's all, trust me, it's very common questions and I've done a lot of research myself. Just because, you know, you spend a lot of time in these and you for sure want them to be safe and, you know, you kind of feel better about it, you know. So let's get into it. I'll show you how I have my stuff hooked up. And like I said, this isn't like the end all be all way of doing it. This is just what works for me. So take it for what it is. All right, you guys, here's an overview of the electrical system, how it's set up back here. You see, I got the batteries down here, the panel, inverter, uh, solar charge controller over here, shore power. Uh, right here is pretty much the central location where everything, uh, I guess depending on how you look at it, either comes in or feeds out. The small black and white wires are the feeds to your loads, like your lights, uh, fridge, diesel heater, whatever it is. Um, the two black wires coming over here are coming from the roof. Those are the solar panels. I have them come, they go through an on-off switch, and then it goes into the solar charge controller and they are distributed out. As you can see, I got the power that comes through a circuit breaker and comes over here and feeds the positive bus bar and from there it gets distributed out to everything as you can see i got one leg that goes up here through a breaker and feeds the fuse panel here another one that comes out and feeds the fuse panel here and the only reason i have two is because this is like a dual part uh fuse panel you can have one part of it like the top portion uh power all times and then the bottom one like ignition power but i just need ignition or uh power all the time and I just ran out of spots up here so I just had to hook one up down there and as you see also it feeds or goes into a fuse and then goes over here to the inverter and then this wire right here goes over here and feeds the power to the shore power and also you see comes over here the battery I got an on off switch on the battery there's a fuse and then the battery is linked in parallel. I'll explain that here in just a second. And let's go over to the negative. As you see, we got the negative come down, goes to the negative bus bar, then it's distributed out. We got one over here that feeds the fuse panel. And then I got a leg of it that comes over here and feeds the uh, shore power. Another comes off here and goes to the inverter. And then the other comes down here and this is a shunt it's pretty much it's a battery monitor i have a, a a display up underneath the tv that lets me know how much power is being consumed and as you see this is a parallel negative to negative power to power or positive to positive <clears throat> um, this maintains a 12 volt system but adds up the amp hour so 300 100 100 i got 12 volts at 500 amp hours uh, if you hook them up in series you pretty much multiply the voltage but you keep the amp hour so you could have uh, a 24 24 or 48 volt system at 100 amp hours but this is what works for my system uh, there's different ways of doing it but the inverter and then I got stuff plugged in here to the inverter like my TV and then some outlets so when I kick on the inverter it powers it takes the power you know from the batteries and stuff and sends them out to my 110 items like the frit or the TV and the outlets and that's really about all I have on the the inverter I have it set up, you know, have a fuses and breakers and stuff in each part of the system. So that way I can disable parts of the system if I need to service it. So please do something like that, you know, make it as safe as possible. 
All right, you guys, that's just a quick overview of how my electrical system is. Sorry, I'm kind of sat down like this because I'm kind of under the bed, so it's not real tall. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, need more detail or anything like that about how the system is, feel free to reach out and I will do my best to help you or I will, you know, ask questions to people and research stuff for you if you have any other questions. Uh, but... I hope that helps out a little bit. Uh, I know it probably could be a lot more in-depth, but it's something I probably should have done when I was doing the system, but I didn't really think about it till now. So, But like I said, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, feel free to uh, ask.